don't really play it yet. Um, and there's some habits that are creeping me into your sound that are not really helping you so far. Um, so we're going to talk about sound a little bit. And then we're going to talk about tackle for something, right? But you've got, I mean, you, you've got the, you've got the main of it. Now, I have a problem with the beginning to begin with. Um, you know, we should resist the banana style going, that type of, right? Not, not that. If you're going to start a bow, start a bow. But uh, don't let the sound Can we hear just the beginning, everybody? Right, right, right. Um, just like we do in orchestra, have the bows on the swing before you start. Right? Otherwise, we get some percussion in the universe. Yeah, I'll help you to start with everybody on the street. One, two, three. Great, you can do that by yourselves. Right, somehow you have to get their attention and everybody has to feel where the one is. One, two. Right, so the breath, right, the breath equals the pulse, equals the carpet, and also the tempo. You can't just be one of it, you gotta be everything. Right, so if you look at them, you go, they're not going to do it. But if you go one, two, yeah. Right, did you hear? You go, ta, 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 Not together. Try starting down one. Yeah. Perfect. Right. We have a boy and it's great, you know, and it's brilliant and whatnot, but it doesn't work. So just do what works, you know, save your lifetime, <laughs> you know, be happy, okay? Um, but still though, I don't think the eighth notes now is turn it up again. We have pa, you know, the pa, take a pum pum Can you use your left hand? Uh, get those notes together. One more time. Right. Now, Christine, this is for you and it is also for the group. Um, going back to the breath idea, uh, if you go, that breath is for this sound, there's an accent. But you're not playing an accent, right? So, So breathe calmly. Uh, two, three. Yes, breathe in the character of what you're going to play. Not in the character of what you're feeling. <laughs> yeah. They, they don't need to know that we're nervous. Right? They just need to hear the music. I'm sorry, there, there are no questions in the first note. One, two, five. shot of vaccine or something in this because this <laughs> this is not pumbrio yeah one really crisp Get there. You can 
play a little bit more. Okay. That's the cadence. That tells us we're finishing that phrase, right? So two bar phrase, two bar phrase, four bar phrase. Okay, let's try the whole first statement. Written. 
Da, 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 da. What is the direction that you have? Oh, the crescendo. Crescendo, exactly. So Beethoven is telling you, wake up, you're about to do something. You know, do it. You know, so you can't just start with all. And that is the crescendo. You have to start with the energy that you're going to increase the intensity of your sound right away. And that is different than what you're doing right now. Right? So one, two, three, one, two, three. Here, get the groove up. It's got to come from the three of you. Okay? Can we have Christine playing? With you guys? I think it was better to get the sound. Let's see if we can do even better. Front. One, two. So we'll talk about the, the bit that goes on for a little while. Now, do a little bit 
of mental recycling of everything that we've done, okay? And go back to the beginning plan today. Inspire the conversation. 
Ya. Don't be in the background. That happened more than once in the group. Um, when you have 16th stop, be very, very, very clear about the way you play them and the way you place them. Right now, some of you are very rushy, right? And that makes it pretty, pretty iffy to assemble, right? So, and one final detail, it's when you have your, um, identify where your high points in the piece, right? Because we had a little bit of this talk right now when you have piano versus forte, right? Not enough contrast, right? We also need to understand the whole scope of the piece and what is the high point of it. And that needs to be plenty obvious, right? So I'll let you guys sort of go through it and we can certainly do that at a different time and figure it out, map out the piece. But, you know, so that when you play, the experience is not starting from point A and the other point B, which is the end of the piece. Where that is, this is the piece, this is, this is a low point, this is a transition, you know, so you control of those elements rather than just a timeline. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for your time.
Um, a lot of what I have to ask is more questions than the actual direction of the play. Um, but I think I think let's start with the um, objective things first, which is um, Forrest, can I ask you to play in strings uh, quartet? Can you listen to how he manages the march? Can you play for us starting on big bar number three? from the Beethoven group. This needs to be with the guys. Can you try one that? Right. 
really the resiliency of the poles is where you're looking forward. Can we move on a little bit? Uh, second thing should be fine. And then the question that I have to B is what is what, what is it that you try to convey in relationship to the main thing? Character wise. Kind of peace and not it's very peaceful when I write, but also very like emotional, very like reflective a little bit, reflecting on it, but peaceful. In contrast to what is the what is the effect of the mark is a bit disturbed and contained and it's a bit more rhythmic, where this is a bit more Right. So uh, what I felt in your march was a little bit too loose. And then in your song section, yeah. I felt it very good. Yeah, I mean, so I wonder if you could have more of a, you know, like we did just now, was very. And I wonder if you contrast, we can find more. Um, can I just hear you first? Um, maybe if you can give us. Um, a couple of bars before B. Yes.
So, it's less of a... Uh, and more of a... So, continuous bow movement, right? More that. Ah, 
about if we do one, two, three and a half bars before the edge of that?
I mean, it, it goes from crazy storm to all the time. No, it's all right. <laughs> it's like, no, it goes to the most magical old moment, right? So imagine the trajectory of the speed. I mean, the situation is wrong. But like, if you're just the music theory, you're missing the plot a little bit. Because you come from death to acceptance, something like that, to death, to really not accepting it at all, anger, to lot. <laughs> but that, that's not the end of the story, is it? Um, so this transition, really, a little bit like, I don't know, the mountains in Colorado, you know, like, Sunshine is very confusing, but you kind of have to, you know. <laughs> yeah, somebody took this image in my head. It's a little bit like the other other funny experience. Like you're looking at yourself when you're having a surgery, and you feel all of that pain. It's like, no, don't do that, you know. And then somehow you like go back to it and it's just a dream. You know, everything's fine. But it seems you okay, can't just do the end of that. And then, well, you know. Actually, I love you guys so much, but uh, <laughs> we're over time. We need to get a gravel play tech, but yeah.
four. So acid B re vitimé. What does that mean? Alright, I'm really interested in the last part of it. Very, very good. Right. Um, I think there's uh, some misconception that we get you know, from stereotypical things of French music. Is it as pastel and as transparent and blah, 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 blah. Ravel, I think, again, okay, opinion, anything but transparent. Very much object. He writes everything in the page. He's one of these composers that, like, everything's clockwork, right? So when you see in the page, do it. Now, one thing that he doesn't do much is to write and when he does, he means it. But in the middle of things, not so much, okay? So, can we try top 250? Do you have these numbers as I move 15, 16? Yes. Yes, okay. Can we try top? But I'm going to ask you guys to play it like this. So you did it 
Dynamic. Dynamic. Double. Double P. Dynamic P. Yeah. Yeah. And then the next bar you are. Yes. And then you are. Supporting. And then you are. Exactly. Mezzo piano. Right? And then you are? No, no, next ball. No, no, yeah. Pianismo, mezzo piano. Already? Piano, mezzo forte, and then stays there towards forte. Right? Whatever you see, do. But don't, don't let the group influence you. Because right now at 16, we need to hear.
<laughs> you can't just say here. You have to say how. Right? It's not just a when. This is all the eats and buts, you know? So, whatever it is that you want in yourself, needs to form tempo, needs to form character, needs to form pulse. Right? So that Abby over here, when she goes, wait, wait, put the second one. Right? So can we start together? So just keep a whole power count for us. One, whatever it is, with the tempo. But when you breathe, breathe the big Can you count out loud for us? For, for, for Abby? One, two, three, four. Instead of saying three, can you breathe the sound of your body? Let's say one, two. One, two, Just make 
make sure you guys do it. Brr, brr, brr. So it feels like you're dead. Not like, eh, 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 eh. Okay, can you do it by yourself? What do you think? What time do we stop? Oh gosh, okay, let's go. <laughs> and to everybody who came to the class, thank you so much. Um, I'll see everybody at the orchestra, and then there is a concert on Saturday. The brilliant people are playing. Uh, you will be happy if you come at 7.30 p.m. So thank you so much, folks.